Hi everyone, tonight we're going to be doing a hot, smoking, sexy Arabic look and I've already done one eye to show and it just helps with time so first of all I've already primed with my primer on my eye <clears throat> I'll put all the details at the end and I'll just quickly go through what I'm using as I go there's quite a lot of blending involved and because it's a really gorgeous look I'm really pleased with this one, it took some time so first we're going to start with where's that brush? see I'm doing it again that's the one I had where are you, where are you, where are you? We're going to start with some MAC pigment in white and I just can't see, that's it, it's not in the way, right. And we're just going to start by applying it under the eyebrow bone. But you don't want to come all the way down, you only want to keep it in that area there and stop. You want a little bit of above the crease left and your eyelid. Because we're going to be blending some green in there soon. Then once you've got that, like that, so you're not going all the way, you're just doing the eyebrow area. I'm going to take some, where's my brush? It's Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals tutorial tonight and it's called Celery. And it's like a mint, sage, parsley green. And we're just going to apply that all over our eyelid. I'm going to have to sit up by this. I'm sitting on my bum, but it's not working. So, let's have a look, let's have a look. Hope that's better for you. Right. So we're going to keep on going with the celery. And you just want to go all over your eyelid. Pack it on thick for now. Plenty of time to blend in a minute. And again, I hope the line's much better in here for you. You'll have to ignore the clothes I'm wearing. I'm wearing layers upon layers because it's kind of cold in here. But that doesn't matter. I'm getting keep warming all my jumpers on. I want one of them snowsuits, I think they'll come in handy. Might look a bit silly, but I, I answered the door the other day to a journalist looking like really terrible. Had my hair tied back, I looked like Aunt Bessie and big slippers on, like Yeti boots. Um, tra like tracky bottoms with a hole in. <laughs> and I went to the door and it was a journalist from the Sunday Mirror. But anyway. So I looked a bit silly. And because it wasn't my house, I kind of just let strangers in. So I had to keep them stood there in the freezing cold, which was a bit nasty, but not my fault. So you're just blending the celery right up. And then once you've done that, take the same brush, no we're not, we're going to take a little one, this one here, and we're going to be taking Collection 2000 Enchanted and it's really chocolatey brown. And we're just going to take a little bit of that and then do a brush and you're just going to put it along the crease, only the crease. And give it a bit of blending as you go. Now you might get a bit of fallout because I'm using lots of pigments here and loose minerals. You've got less chance of fallout if you're using a solid eyeshadow but I like pigments and minerals because of the colour payoff so you cannot win. You just cannot win. So keep your wet wipes handy because there's going to be a lot of colour on your cheeks. You've got kind of go, you've got a smoky green chocolate brown layer going. Now for the fun part, let's get rid of this off my cheek, wet wipe handy, just get rid of that. Now where's that brush gone, just had it not long ago, there it is, take a liner brush, this is out of the black brush set, oh there's no pink ones left, there's no pink brush sets left, there's only gold, red, bronze and black and all the details I will put up for you. Um, it got a bit out of hand, people sending payments for 
a brush set but not mentioning what brush set and not giving them their address so help us out so I'm having to refund lots of money because I don't know what you want or where it's going to which is a bit but anyway look at the I'll put the link up at the end for you if you are interested in a brush set now what we're doing now is we've got some bare minerals onyx I think it's like a shadow liner and all I'm doing is damping it on there you can see all the damp marks see all the dirt that's the black so it's nice and wet mixing the mixture up so you get a nice dark black line and we're just going to run it along the upper lash line and you want to come out with a big kick to get it the same as the last one We've got plenty of room do a bit more on that The brush is that long and then I just probe myself in the eye bumping into the mirror. So be careful. Because it's easy to do. So you're just sweeping the black liner up and out. And you're going to give it a nice big wing. So I think we need to come up a bit or we'll darken that out. This will be a doddle if you had fluid line or liquid liner. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on eyeliner soon as well. All the different kind of ones you can get. I'm just waiting for some fluid line to come. Come out. That's it. So, usually I start on the inner, the in, I'm sorry, middle of my eye. and I work my way out and then from the inner corner meet up this is easier for me if you can do it in one good go good for you try it because I just can't I really can't I can't keep my hands still it's really hard no matter where I rest my finger bring it down. I'm going to take just a little bit of this Max Shade Stick in Beijing. I'm just going to line the lower lash line. Sorry about that, my camera is a bit of a, an oldie and it just keeps cutting out on us. But I don't want to change it because I know how it works now, you see. So now we've got the Beijing underneath. We're going to take some celery and with your liner brush again, you want to just line the inner corner with the celery. Woo, it's all everywhere, it's gone everywhere. That's what I hate about pigments, they're so dusty and messy. But the colour payoff's brilliant, you can't win. So just doing the inner corner. Now take your dazzle dust or any chocolate brown. The big huge palette things have all these colours in. I'm just using these because I've been through me makeup sets and stuff and I found a load of things I'd never used for ages. And I saw these two colours and thought they will look amazing for Arabic look. So I thought, right, let's get them out, have a play. And I wanted to share the look with you. So I'm just going across here with the brown. And then you do your black. Come out. Make a bit of a black eyeliner. And you want to join your wing out a corner, just gently bring it down. Now, where's my liner? <clears throat> We're going to take still out again, and it's the black, it's onyx, and we're going to just apply that to a waterline. And then you want to come right into the inner corner and up. So you have it right into the inner corner. Because Arabic is all about 
darkening the eyes out and making them passionate and deep and lots of black, plenty of smokiness and lots of colours you wouldn't usually wear. That's what I like about Arabic look. You can get away with murder, you really can. Now we'll get some mascara cracked on here. So you tip your head back and give your lashes a bit of a tickle from root to tip. It actually does tickle your eyelids when you do that, but I'm, I'm kind of used to it now because it's always how I've applied my mascara. And then on the bottom. Do you do that when you do your liner? I do. Even though I know people are going to be saying this, I don't care. Because it's one of them things that we do when we put my makeup on. Pull funny faces and things like that. So, no point in hiding it if we do it. Where's that thing? My liner brush, there it is. I'm going to do my eyebrows now. Because you can see this is not my usual colour. This is kind of black. Really dark brown to black, like Arabic look, and it's lovely. So just dip the black again. And we're just going to gently draw in my eyebrow. And there's a very quite triangular looking. Not rounded, not really. More angled, dark, fierce, and frame the face are brilliant. So there you have your real Arabic looking eyebrows. Well, I hope they are. I think they are. Seen some pictures to get inspired from. Now, what am I looking for? I did have it a minute ago. Please, where are you? That's it. I'm going to be using Paula Dorf Rendezvous. It's a lip liner. Have you seen the state of your fingers off all the black? So you're just going to line your lips. And then, this here is my favourite lip colour I've come across lately. Where's it gone? That's it. And it's actually one of my samples. And I says I like this one very much. I'm wearing it all the time. It's called Nude. And it's going to apply that. I love it. Because nothing goes on my lips. If my lip colour doesn't show through, then they make my lips look too small and I look icky. So I like this because it kind of makes it look plumped. Good for me. Now, where's that blush gone? I'm going to take a little bit of this. It's another sample. But it hasn't got a name for it yet. No, it's just a blush on. It hasn't got a name yet. It's just a sample, most of them. So that's why they haven't got any names. But if I like them, I can use them and work on them and make different colours and textures and I have to admit I like a lot of it so I'm happy. Just going to take a big brush, just going to gently waft a little bit of that one of the cheekbones underneath. Any kind of bronze to peach blush will do. I think Max got one called Peachy Keen. That would be perfect to go with the greens in your lip colour. And there you have it. Zoom me out. Out. All done. I really hope you enjoyed a beautiful Arabic inspired makeup tutorial. Zoom zoom.